Alrighty, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do one of these shirts. And the number is 6952. <clears throat> and I want to go like four inches longer than it is. And I'm going to use this right here material. And I'm just going to make a shirt. I don't think a skirt, a pair of shorts, or anything would do any justice to the material. So I'm just going to make a shirt, and I think it will turn out pretty good. If I survey probably better off right here yes all right we are going to put this shirt together and I'm gonna start on the serger and we're gonna see what we can do I'm so used to putting my hand through here and opening uh, the thing doodler and that's not gonna work too well anyway uh, we're gonna start on the serger here and we're going to go all the way off all right now we're going to pick it up and our our needles are up now we're just going to turn it i'm so used to putting it down there all right now we're going to start over again and we're going to go uh-oh, I screwed up there. I turned it, didn't turn it enough. And hopefully, yeah, this will work. Yeah, here we go. All right. Now we're going to go off this side there. Oh, look, see, I missed some. <laughs> I am not good at this at all, am I? I believe I'm going to have to go back. I think. Let's see. Well, why aren't you coming? There we go. Alright. Let's see what we can do about cutting that off. Huh? I'll get used to it. I'm just not used to it. That's all it is. And it makes things not go right. Let's see. I want that back there. And I want that there. <clears throat> now let's try this again. And I am so used to uh, having an on and an off button on my machine and yeah I know that's better all right let's we can't take it and we're gonna turn it and we're gonna start over there we go all right now let's see not enough hand room there all right now we're gonna leave that there and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the other machine which is already done ready to go and I'm gonna turn this one you know what I should have tightened that because see there I, I'm not gonna worry about it because this one right here is not gonna be a uh, probably a good shirt but if it is I'll keep it but other than that I think I am just going to and I don't want these stitches on the outside of my collar 
So I am going to do my collar like this. Oh, come on now. What did you do? That's crazy. What is it? I'm not allowed to sew today or something? <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. I think my sewing days are just about over, I'm telling you. Because I am not been doing too good. <sighs> got a doctor's appointment tomorrow, which it'll already be over by the time y'all see this video. Because I got a couple ahead of this one. You know, I am trying my best to feel better, but for some reason, I just don't feel good at all. And I take a coughing spit, a fit, and then I start throwing up. You know. And that is not a, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? It's not a reaction to the bull crap that's going around now. I think I have like a, maybe an infection in my sinuses. And that could be causing. And plus, I still have my stomach and all all right now I have this uh, collar done so I'm happy about it all righty let's see what else we need to get started on on the surgery part so <sighs> Here we go back down here. Keep an eye on the time. No, I need to move that right there so I can spread things out. All right. I think I, I, this would be a better choice than trying to do it all without a table. We got to have a table. Yeah. All righty. Now, these are my armhole pieces. And I think that we need to start with them. So, what I'm going to do is, and I think I need to kind of like, uh, I don't know what's going on here. It's, okay, put it right down in the corners here. And then that way, hopefully they'll stay in. Well, I don't understand how come these are here ain't right. I'm at about two pieces here. I'm not getting it. I may have to draw another one. Because I have drawn these. Alright, so. This is going to be our back. And we're going to have to put one on each side here. I'm going to go up, put them right there. And then that way, we can sew these down. Try to get it down there. Okay, now we got those. And stick it over here. All right, now we're going to have to have one on each side of these two. Now, these two are two different pieces. They are not um, cut on top of each other. So, we're going to take this side, and we're going to put it over here, just like we did the other ones right in the middle. And now I'm going to do this one the exact same way. Alrighty. 
So let's go play some more on our serger. So let me move this out of the way. I don't know if I should go back to the other one. Um, I think, I don't know. We'll wait and see what happens <coughs> in here. Oh, all right. You feel a little better? Ah, a little bit. I still am not at the par, but I'm going to go for it anyway. Try to. I probably, I wish that handle was up there. Not way down here. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do here. And we're going to get rid of the pin. Oh, I forgot. I don't have a... Uh, Automatic start here. We're going to go off. And then cut it. Let's see how good this right here is. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to find, uh, get out my book and make sure that I can put the tension on there right. Alright, here is my picture. And we, I'm going to see if I can get this one right here. And we're going to want to go higher with it to make it... Uh, we're going to go down to three, and let's see what three, because remember, the lower, the looser, so we're going to want to go to five, four and a half. Let's try four and a half, and let's see what happens on four and a half. And we're going to start with this one. So I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the other one and um, I'm going to do my top stitches on it. Electric foot, Sandy. Let's see if this right here holds up better. I like it better or not. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit better. I think I can go a little bit more. Let's see. Let's go down this one right here to, to four. Go to this one to five. And this one to four. We're going to keep on going until we see what we got here. Alright, let me get to this one. And we're going to see it again. Get rid of the pin. Wait a minute. Now, the needle is... I did not mash anything to make it, the needle stay down. And it should not stay down. And I don't know why. Alright. Here we go. Sure, I'm still getting. Okay. Come on, don't do that. Oh, that one loosened it. That one. Okay, so we're going to need to go backwards. Three. We're going to go two. Three and two. All right. I'm going to go over this one again. And here my put them up. 
Let's see if this right here makes it better. My needle fell out. Why? I gotta figure out a way to get to this better. Now, why did my needle fall out? So if I can put it back in there, not a bunch of problems. Why is the needle falling out? That, that one ain't gonna want to fit in there. I gotta find one that will. But man, it's so. That goes. Now when I put this one back in, I don't want it um, to interfere I can't believe it. I don't understand how come it's doing that. Ouch. Hey, that don't feel too good. Alright, now I got this really tight Look what I did to my finger. Alright, I'll make sure it's not here. Okay, it is not tangled up. That <sighs> super can't go back a little bit. Let's try it again. That's better. That's better, but I like it a little bit tighter right now. Now, I don't think I'm going to want that thread hanging on this side. So, I'm going to have to get out my other sewing machine so I can put the threads better right in here. So we're going to get busy on that, and let's see, I think I got, no, I got one more side to go. Let's go ahead and go do this one, and let's see what happens from there. Let's see. There we go. Let's go up with it. <coughs> oh, come on, don't do that. We can do. Still too loose, so we're gonna go down to about seven, five, seven, and then five. Let's try it again, see what happens. It has to be tighter. I want it tighter. That's better. That's better. All right. Let's uh, see what we can do from here and fix the other sewing machine back up before we come back to this one. Well, well. Rick's done gone to work. And I'm going to have to stay awake 
to go to my doctor's appointment this morning. So, I got my sewing machine fixed up here. Now what I'm doing is I'm folding this over and I'm sewing this little spot down. I need to make a... a to make another uh, piece that's longer that will fit this. But however, I did not. I made this piece when I got the so uh, the uh, pattern so that I can uh, make it a sleeveless shirt because it did not come with one and all. Uh, <clears throat> so we're gonna have to uh, try to make us another one and make it work better and make it longer. But however, this is the way I'm doing this. Now, that I have all four of these sewed down, I have got to uh, put my uh, darts in. Whoa. So now I have my darts pinned so I can put darts into it. And now, here we go with our dirts. <laughs> Come over here to our serger. I don't know how long this video is and all that good stuff, but we're gonna play with this this morning. And it's early, I think it's like almost seven o'clock in the morning. And my doctor's appointment is around 10. I, I want to make sure that these are together. And then we're going to go. I wonder if I'm going to get used to this thing here. Alright, let's see. You got a foot pedal, Sandy. All right, now then, let's get our other piece, and put that up that way, and then we have this one. Ooh, I think what I need to do, so make sure that I have these two together is to turn it over <sighs> and line it up down how I think I think I'm getting better at it I hope so But I'm not for sure about why it isn't cutting it like like people said it is. Is it that I don't have my uh, things engaged? My needle? My, I meant my cutter. I really don't see. I don't. I don't. I don't understand it. But it's not cutting material like the um uh, uh like they show okay now i need to find my collar oh i forgot i gotta do these and i don't want them done on the serger so 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this right here down and sew it down on the regular sewing machine. And then we'll be back. Alright, I'm reduced to a little bitty thing right here. So, what we want to do now is we want to put this uh, backwards and we're going to put the uh, collar on it. We already have us a middle line there. We're going to take this one, we're going to make a little line right there, and we're going to Start pinning it down, and then that way we could surge this right here on. Let's see if I can't get it out here. It looks like I'm gonna take two videos to make this shirt. Uh, let's see. There, don't go all the way. What's going on here? I'm not going to like that. Let's see what I can do. Alright, come on. Okay, there it is. Let's see what we can do about pinning it down. I'm going to use the serger as much as I can. Look at that. See that right there? That's what I'm talking about. Why ain't it doing it? And it's not going to do it on this side either. I'm not comprehending it. So, I don't know what to do. Why ain't it coming out? Because that has to be done. So what I know about getting some of these strings out of here. Because I don't need them. Oh, come on. There we go. So if I take it from here and go this way. I'm going to figure this bad baby out. I want it to go from right here. Stick in there. Alright, now we're going to go on down. I'll figure this out so I can make me a shirt. Alright, now I'm going to start from over here. I don't know if this will work or not. I'm hoping that it does. Right, keep on going. Alright, now we got it here. And we're going to take it. Line it up, put it together, put a pin here, and a pin here. Then that way we got some little thing in the back. Alright, I'll see y'all next video, and then we'll finish off the shirt. 
How to donate to poor man sewing. Mash on poor man sewing. Come up here to the top. Go to about. And right here, donate to poor man sewing.